where I started right off the back as I walked into here and yeah, man. just talking to her. This is Humble game. Wumba. She is looking fine with that sharpened resolution. I know, right? You can see, you can see the cleavage. I can see. You can see the cleavage the right there. Look at that. You can see the cleavage. And they're moving. Yeah. The boobs are moving. Of course, this isn't um, Dead or Alive or Beach Volleyball where the each yeah. boob moves individually of each Dude, other. I remember that shit. <laughs> I remember the first. That's what that game did for history. I think, I think Dead, oh, or, Dead or Alive was a, a launch title for the original Xbox, and I remember looking at the screenshots for that game. For yeah, it's I was like, funny. Those tits are real. It was the first game where they oh, where each shit. boob, each boob who had moved, its own physics yeah, engine. Yeah, its own yeah. physics engine. I love it. And now they use that in other games. That's so funny. A game that just was just a fucking funny ass joke actually made leaps of animation in video games. So, what she does that nobody knows, she's the one who transforms you into stuff. And I think we're a stone figure. She looks hot. Yep. Oh, yeah. Or beer I drink, she wouldn't even have. Right? We are a stone. Yeah, that's what I call visit her just for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. There's like a, there's like a hidden like relationship. Like, Momo Jumbo hits on her constantly. She just doesn't want to have, she just wants enough, nothing of it. So, we're a stony. Ugh, that looks awkward as fuck. Yeah, right. What is this for? What is this for? Um, well, this is how we play kickball, for one. Um, kickball. And, yeah, and we can talk to um, the, these little Mayan dudes over here, because we couldn't talk to them before, because we didn't understand their language. But now that you're this made guy. of stone. <laughs> yeah, we can talk to them. There, there's a couple things you can do with them. Um, like one, if we go back to the world entry member, we saw that honeycomb in a little crevice over here. Now you can, uh, now you can go over and get it, because you're small. Sweet. Done and done. Um, I, I know there's something else. I, I think there's something outside the world you can do, because that still exists. Remember, you can take the, uh, uh Mumbo's creations or whatever outside of the world to get Jakey's and shit. Gotcha. I think you can still do it in this one, too. I'm not sure. Um, is this one? Oh, no, that's not the wrong one. We could play kickball. <laughs> Which is really, you just kind of do this shit. <laughs> it's dumb, but this is, what's, this is what makes this game great. There's so many things in this game that take you out of, like, the... Out of, out of the yeah. game, and there's different... The Jiggies are very... Um, they're more inventive in this game. Yeah, the, the, like, Yuzu, if you play if you play this game and go back to the Yuzu, you're like, wow, Jiggies are just fucking everywhere. And you just kind of have to get to this area and get it. But now yes, it kind of work more for the Jiggies this time. So this guy wouldn't let us in before. But he's like on the bench. He's so, yeah. They still keep the backpack thing. Marilyn and Kazooie, like, everybody's like, oh, my God, fucking, why do you have a cool ass little backpack in the shorts? And like, yeah, they keep that uh, same funny thing in here. Sure. <laughs> Just let me in. Yeah, it's like fucking being a bouncer for kickball. That kind of shit is this. Um, there's training down there. I don't need training. Yeah. I, don't, I remember. What the gym class I... Yeah. Uh, there's always a disappointment. Uh, except Wait. when you played dodgeball. Then it was like, dodgeball fuck your shit's on. But dude, I feel like, I feel like our... Yeah, like, we're like the last like, we're kids the last like, that had actual dodgeball. Because yeah. it was violent. You know what's funny about my uh, middle school? Because uh, that's when they that's when they cut it when we were in middle school. I was right? in elementary school when they. Yeah, well, that, but we they cut it while we were in school eventually. Um, but our middle school teacher, because they they uh, got rid of dodgeball, they wouldn't allow us to play it. Uh, she mentioned in her new game where anytime you get hit, no matter what, even if you have a ball, you're out. Head out, balls out, whatever. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so it was like it was just full yeah, on. They always made that bullshit rule. If you hit him in the head, you go out. Like fuck. That. Yeah. It's so pussy, isn't it? So I think uh, the goal of this is to get your balls into your own goal. So it's not really a kickball. It's just kind of... Uh, and I see that you run ten times faster than me. Oh, guys, yeah. So. Well, on this level. This is the first level. I know there's a way to kick it. I can't remember <laughs> what to way to kick them? Yeah, there it's we go. That's how, that kick ass. That's how you kick it. That's how you kick Yeah, this is just... There's three stages of it, so this is the first, number one. Um, what was I going to say... Uh, do you ever play, uh, you remember Pokemon Stadium, right? Yeah, of course. Fucking love, love that thing. I still have, I still have. 
What, what was the greatest thing about that besides putting your own Pokemon the mini in the games? games. Mm-hmm. Mini games. There was I a mini game. Those. There was a mini game just like I this. I just played those like two weeks ago. Yeah, right? I think it was on Pokemon Stadium Two with the ferrets or the Mister Mimes. They both had the same kind I don't, of things. I don't yeah. remember. I didn't play the second Pokemon Stadium. Oh, okay, all, like, it, but there was a game like just like this kind of shit. It's very. I just simple. remember for the first time like uploading. I had like all maxed out my Pokemon squad and I fucking I love that game. put that transfer pack in and uploaded them to the Pokemon Stadium. It Isn't it fucking shocking thing. that they haven't still let them done anything like that? No, like, since it's then? amazing. I don't know how they haven't done it. Like, I don't understand. Well, they tried, on, they tried it on the on the Wii, I think, and it didn't really have that success. Um, so the Red, the Red Bulls are minus things. You can kick into their goals now. Fuck you guys. Yeah, kick... Oh, okay. <laughs> you can steal it from them. Which you can, uh... You can, like, take this and, like, fuck you, Red. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun little, fun little mini game. Fuck off, Red. It's just fucked him over. Yeah, you can fuck you all over and stuff. Yeah, from but, the first, from the first Pokemons that I played, I always envisioned, like, there's gotta be a 3D version of this game. Yeah, I'm surprised there hasn't been one on the Wii U. get into randomly generated battles like in other yeah. RPGs, like in Final Fantasy. I just don't get it. They haven't done. Well, I can't believe well, it. Well, the new generations, like X and Y, are actually pretty uh, legit. How they, uh, how their graphics are and all that. But there's nothing like this. It's not like no Zelda. I'm just surprised they haven't made an adaptation of Pokemon Stadium again. Especially with the Wi-Fi and stuff, it would make it easier. Uh, I don't know. It's the same like um, like a lot of people have said. There, I don't know if they're gonna do it. Um, like Pokemon Snap, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was pretty awesome. awesome yeah, it's game. great. I don't know if that actually helped me. <laughs> I just did. Um, oh, that's right. That's a little bomb to like disrupt them. I think if I toss it at them. Yeah, that's right. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah. See, now it actually gets a little, uh, it's a little tough here. So they're actually pretty uh, hardcore in there. Um, what they're doing. I think the key, I don't think they go for the red ones, so the key is to use those red ones. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Shit gets out of hand, because oh, purple's you. whooping your ass right now. For now. Oh, yeah, see, so yeah, I lost. Yeah, if I hit that one in there, it's, it's, it's a little tough, but it's not that tough. Uh, what was I saying? Um, well, Pokemon's down, right? It's a pretty awesome game, especially when you go to Blockbuster and put the fucking photos and get stickers and shit. Um, I don't know if you ever did that. I didn't, but I know it's fun. Yeah. It was pretty cool um, that you could do that. Um, no. But uh, I, I'm surprised there hasn't been a Wii, a Wii U adaption with how good the um, um, the gamepad and shit is. I can name it. Yeah, dude, I know what you mean. Wow, it's just, yeah. It's, it would be perfect. Yeah, it's, with the gamepad, it makes it just you makes sense. Like holding an actual camera. And yeah, like hold it steady and shit. Be cool. it, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, it would work so well. It would work. I know it would. work. I remember scraping together the last money in my room for that game. My dad was like, "Are you sure you want this game?" I'm like, "Yes." Fuck me, I'm gonna lose again. <laughs> yeah, but like, it, it just the game pad seems like it would work so fucking well with it once now. Yeah, I, I don't know, cause like moving the controller around and shit and snapping photos, photo, it worked. It would work. They could easily find a way. Nintendo's smart. They could figure that shit out. And then make the game not on the rails, so you could actually move freely. Yeah, around. walk around in an area and find Pokemon, like you, like random battles and shit. Oh yeah, it would work. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, but Nintendo's listened too. Like, they said they didn't want to do it, and, but na- and now um, um, they're more inclined to do it. Now, now that more people were like was like, oh, and like, well, this is pretty popular. Like, let's do it. Fuck you guys, get the fuck. Give me. Mm. Fuck you, purple. Fuck you, purple. No. Let me. Keep your eye on me. Let me do it. All right, fine. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, this is a little silly fucking kickball shit. I think it gives me Jiggy, right? Yeah, we're the Mayan champion of kickball, I guess. Woo. Um, so I know there's something else I can do with him, but I'm not sure. 
What's gonna do with them? Mm. I don't. Mm. Mm. I'll figure it out. Is it has been a while? It's been a couple years, I think, right, since I played it. I know I when I remember as much. As I know when I first got my my new TV. Um, I didn't know what the fuck what the fuck to get um, Christmas or whatever. You know, you, as you get older, you, there's not really much you fucking want anymore. Um, like even with games, there like, wasn't really much. I was like, my sister asked me like, oh, "What do you want?" I'm just like, um, "How? How about this? Uh, to give me some uh, money? Like, give me like a points card, from Microsoft or whatever." And this just came out like, like Perfect. when it, when it opened up, and I was like, "Wait, Banjo Kazooie and two are done!" Like without hesitation, I did it, and I played I played both of them like back to back for a couple of days, and I was like, "Fuck it!" And I had Skyrim too, <laughs> like with me. I was like, "No fucking Banjo Kazooie, I want to play it." Done, done, done. And then I played Skyrim for ever. <laughs> yeah. Never, never got into that. Uh, it, let's just I say, let's just Olivia say it was a good thing. Moment. Let's just say when I played Skyrim, it was a good thing. I just graduated college, and um, oh, I know what I need it for. I need to get into there. Uh, but when Skyrim came out, I just graduated college, and um, uh, I didn't uh, I didn't have a job after uh, like. like um, right when I just graduated, uh, that's another dumb story. Another, but it was fine. Like I had plenty of money. Like I didn't want, I didn't want a job when I was graduating and stuff. And the job I was gonna have for a little bit um, was gonna be set up until like uh, February, I think. It happened to be in March, so you were the fuck I want for like a couple months. I had to worry about school or anything. Skyrim. It's like I just like I could just do whatever. I want. And I was like, you know what? I don't really care to go out and tonight I went out and stuff and, and everything. I was like, just play Skyrim. All the time. Like, yeah. Just play Skyrim and uh, got on Xbox Live with my buddy who had Skyrim too. We just fucking play Skyrim together. Like, that was about it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that game was awesome. It's the same thing as Morrowind and stuff. I believe, yeah, I loved Morrowind. I was heavily into that. I believe Morrowind was here. Good. Oh yeah, the sheedy thing. I don't know, I watched Rob play some of Fallout 4 earlier, it looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um, next episode, I think we're going to... Put in sheets? No, I had to... Yeah, I was like, put in sheets? No, no they're just like, you can put in cheat codes or whatever, it's like they're in the game. They, they give them to you. Uh, if I could do something else to do that, so I'll do that. But I will find that other page, wherever it may be. More Tui next time. Stay tuned for more tangents about things. Yes. <laughs> Later.